Hi, everyone. I hope everybody has heard of Let's Connect. Yes. <laughs> so my name is Justice. Um, my colleague here, um, Bukola, we are on the working group of Let's Connect. So next slide. So Let's Connect um, was um, an answer. Um, the grants team was trying to bring about um, after a series of conversations and um, with um, members about how best they can help um, grow some of their um, um, skills in certain aspects. So grant making, research reports, writing, and all that. Next slide. Um, so let's collect um, um, came about from that whole process. And so um, it's an open and safe space for people who are affiliated for now. Um, we are using people who are part of organized group for the main reason because we want them to go back to their communities and teach them. So Let's Connect is for um, peer learning. It's a peer learning space uh, primarily. And it's also to share and learn different skills from both the foundation, uh, members of different affiliates, and also from individuals who also have um, something to share. And the purpose is primarily to develop skills, share knowledge around uh, the, the, the Wikimedia movement, for example, and also to build capacity of every member across. So the team um, started off um, by these beautiful faces. Um, it's, it's gone through a few iterations. So now currently we have about 12 members on the working group. Um, it's a foundation and community-led team. So majority of the, the activities are planned by the team. Next slide. Um, so how does Let's Connect work? We work um, on learning clinics, also one-on-one -on -one connections. So during the first phase, I think we are currently in the third phase of Let's Connect. During the first phase, we tried to see how we can use skills directory to create one-on-one -on -one connections between participants of Let's Connect. So if you see a skill that you have, we try and match you to maybe a, a sharer who also has similar skills and you want to learn that kind of skills with them. That whole process was part of the learnings in the, in the first phase of Let's Connect. We have um, learning clinics almost every other week. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, it, it's two hours per each workshop. You can find all the resources and videos from those learning clinics when you go to our meta page. So we make sure that we update them with uh, current information and also we try and connect other learning opportunities within the Wikimedia movement, like the capacity exchange uh, project and also um, volunteer support. Yeah, yeah, volunteer support as well, so that we, it's not only Let's Connect that is um, working, we are also working with other um, spaces that are trying to learn or teach opp uh, learning opportunities for its members. Yeah, so basically these are some of the skills that we actually hope uh, members who join get to learn. Um, there's a, a lot of, um, I think there's been even one on burnout that for me was one of my favorite learning clinics because usually um, as volunteers, we we don't take uh, mental health to account most of the time because we want to give back. Sometimes we forget that we we might get burned out through the process. So for me, that was one of the, the, the best, my best session for Let's Connect. So next. Yeah, so... Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um. So some indications of Let's Connect impact. How do we measure impact? How do we know that people that join our Connect at all and learning clinics are able to gain uh, new knowledge and also upskill for both on wiki and off wiki skill? So these are some of the things that we use to measure our impacts. And uh, one of them is using Mentimeter to collect uh, impacts at the end of the session. And uh, we usually have some average scores on a scale of one to five, because we don't want uh, to also get participants bored 
uh, through the process of collecting our, our feedbacks. So we make use of tools that can really help people easily just measure impacts. And also uh, athletes and individuals have shared their knowledge in 35 learning clinics with 14 still in process. Now, uh, we also keep records of all the previous uh, learning clinics that we've organized and also those that are yet to come. And uh, we have uh, 255 registered participants that are diverse in, in regional language, Wikimedia roles. We have uh, people that are both working in the Wikimedia Foundation. We also have members joined from athletes and also volunteers from informal groups as well. And uh, so far, we have had over 600 plus participants in different uh, clinics that we have organized. And averagely, we used to have about 25 to 30 uh, people join each learning clinic. And uh, these are some of the uh, feedbacks that we got. And we've always gotten uh, positive feedback, especially about how people feel safe being part of the learning clinics and connect at all that we've organized. And if you want to see more about this, you can just uh, click on the learning reports, which is also available on Meta. Next slide. Yes, so uh, in order to ensure that uh, uh, the work that we do in Let's Connect is also able to uh, reach out to other people who are unable to join this session, we have also come up with uh, giving out opportunity to sharers and learners who have joined series of clinics to now uh, go back to their community and transfer this knowledge and skills that they have gained in different learning clinics that we've organized. So we do that by helping them, uh, uh, support them through a rapid grant uh, yeah, fund where they get funds to carry out a local implementation of uh, learning clinics, and other uh, other activities that are carried out in the Less Connect in their community, in person, and any way that they feel safe to organize this learning clinic. So far, uh, in 2022, we had the privilege to uh, support two um, to support yes to support three members of the Less Connect. Uh, yeah, of the Less Connect to carry out a local implementation of these learning clinics in their community. And uh, we had two people from Nigeria, one from the Wikimedia Nigeria user group and the other from a language community. And then we also have uh, a, a sharer from Tanzania who also carried out a local implementation. And uh, we hosted uh, specifically for those in Sub-Saharan Africa and the Middle East, uh, we also ensure that it is really inclusive. We uh, think about skills that people within this region will really like to learn. And then we come up uh, and then we reach out to people that are willing to share. And these are some of the learning clinics specifically for uh, the, those in Sub-Saharan Africa. You can see the movement chapter time zone one, where uh, we were really able to get people to really understand movement chatter better. And also we had the collective reflection around effective training, engaging new editors in sub-Saharan Africa. And also most importantly, the collective learning around grantees reports for the Middle East and Africa. And also the week in Africa where we get uh, where uh, the uh, yeah the organizers of Week in Africa were able to show us so many interesting tools that organizers could use uh, to improve their work. And most importantly, the connector tool, which gives me that vibe of, oh, oh, I'm outside of that wiki space where we always edit Wikipedia and other sisters projects. So uh, these are some of the very interesting programs that we have carried out and we are still on. And uh, so far, we are also thinking about other ways to improve uh, what we do as part of the Let's Connect uh, clinics and program. And we really want you to help us think about this. How do we contextualize learning spaces so they are relevant to African communities? And also what skills should we prioritize? Remember, we had listed some skills previously. And how do we make it more multilingual and inclusive? Yeah, so these questions are now open for you to help us respond. Thank you. And also, if 
And also we have uh, this code, you can scan it and it takes you directly to our meta page. We have every resources there, but then you can always reach out to me or Justice for any other supports that you'll be needing. Thank you. Yeah, so alors, merci beaucoup pour votre présentation. Moi, j'ai beaucoup aimé ce programme de Let's Connect. J'ai non seulement participé à plusieurs fois, je suis abonné au travail, et j'ai même intervenu une fois aux côtés d'autres personnalités qui ont beaucoup d'expérience sur Wikipédia, qui avaient plus de 14 ans sur Wikipédia, et moi qui n'étais là que 6 ans. Donc, on a pu interagir et montrer un peu ce que je fais et ce que eux ils arrivent à faire pour l'Afrique. Donc, c'est un programme que je recommande à d'autres personnes aussi qui ne sont pas déjà inscrites. Voilà, c'est tout ce que je veux dire. Merci pour le feedback. Merci pour le feedback. Oui, c'est bon. C'est bon. C'est bon. C'est bon. C'est bon. C'est bon. Uh, he really appreciated it. He was uh, a present for many of them, but he was also uh, himself uh, a speaker in some, at least one event, uh, along with other very experienced Wikipedia. And he said he was only six years old, which is already quite a lot, actually, but there were others with him. And um, it, it was an excellent um, experience, and he recommend using it, roughly. He didn't suggest, from my memory, any special uh, things that we could. I just want to ask because I know like, let's connect, but the movement does, there are courses there. Um, and as usual, they're kind of like buried in the meta space. Yes. I mean, unless you know about let's connect, you can't really access them, you know? And I wonder if there's a way that we can finesse some of the more kind of like, um, beginner ready stuff that can be put maybe on some of the like the the tea rooms or whatever if you want to go beyond editing into the wikimedia space start here kind of thing yeah. i don't know so just just an idea of like you know how do we get people how do you funnel that funnel that's you know the huge funnel that asaf talks about but how do we how do we do that for people who start editing and so I think the the good thing about it is also there's all the videos from all the sessions on YouTube. So it makes it easy for people who want to also understand some of the learnings to watch the videos because they are very practical as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, maybe no. Yeah. Yeah. So, so just to sorry to cut in, just to add to that point of having the videos on YouTube. So what we do once uh before you join Let's Connect, we always advise that you register. So once you register, we have this uh very detailed form that uh indicates help you specify what skills you want to get and uh, what other skills uh, that you have previously. So it's more like we have this need assessment form that help us collect specific details about what you want to learn. So uh, once we know that, oh, you are uh, maybe someone that is more experienced, then uh, I think Justice also sends out uh, mails to people that are connecting to the community. Yeah. So sending down mails, we also like put links yeah. to all those resources. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just saying okay, yeah. How do they start? That's, yeah, yeah. That's, um, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.